My name is Maylie Yap. I am 18 years old and I am from Stratford-upon-Avon. I chose acting and as cliche as it sounds, I've always had a passion for it. I've always loved performing for people, making people smile, laugh, um, giving other people the courage to go do what they want to do, whether that is acting, performing or something completely different. Um, I feel that acting is a is an amazing way to escape. It's I feel it's quite therapeutic for other people and myself. I've made sure that every big decision that I've ever made in my life has always pointed in the direction of me pursuing this as a career and as a lifestyle, as a lifestyle. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I think every big decision that I've ever made has always pointed in the direction of acting and pursuing any kind of performance. I will gladly accept anything that comes my way. And I would love for the opportunity to work with you and your facilities and your teachers and get to know every other student that has the same passion as me. My classical monologue is from the play Othello by William Shakespeare and I'll be playing the part of Amelia. My contemporary monologue is from the play The Steed by Kate Mulvaney. I do think it is their husband's fault if wives do fall. Say they slack their duties and pour our treasures into foreign laps. Or else they break out in peevish jealousies, throwing restraint upon us, or say they strike us. Why? We have ghouls, and though we have some grace, yet we have revenge. Let husbands know that their wives have sense like them. They see and smell, and have their palates both for sweet and sour, as husbands have. What is it they do, when they change us for others? Is it sport? I think it is. And doth affection breed it? I think it doth. And is frailty that errs, it is so too. But have we not affections? Desires for sport and frailty as men have. So let them use us well. Or else let them know. The ills we do. Their ills instruct us so. So. No. I can never have children. I will never have children. I will never have children. You know what? I don't think I deserve them anyway. Like, when my friend tells me that she's pregnant, obviously I hug and I kiss and everything and I ask her the stupid questions that we do, like, um, how far along are you? Have you thought of any names yet? And what are you craving? But I don't let on what I'm craving there underneath all of the congratulations, I'm green and bubbling and thinking, you bitch. I hope that thing fucking dies inside of you, you bitch. And when a pregnant lady passes me on the street, I just want to punch her in the belly. And when she falls, I just want to walk away and leave her to deal with it. And when I see a baby in a pram, I just want to... I just want to pick it up and I want to hold it and I want to stroke its skin and kiss its head and hold it close to my chest and I wouldn't let anyone touch it for the rest of its life. Secrets are the enemies of passion Speaking true might get you through the day Truth's a thing that one should never ration But I think you think of it that way Never keep a sin inside the closet Always get the facts of fighting chance Every time you do it, it's a deposit In the long term life of your own bands Keep no secrets, welcome
a monastery with no resistance. Then your marriage is a loving kind of coexistence. Truth is beauty, you should always know exactly who you are.